<sighs> oh, it's not my day. Are you up against it? Yeah. I made too much potato mix, and the potato mix went on the floor. So then I had to start again. And then I cut my finger. Ugh. At 21, bartender Olivia is the youngest contestant in the kitchen today. She was taught to cook by her mum, who is a food tech teacher. My cooking style, hectic. Oh my God. It's like a hurricane that flew through the kitchen when I cook. It's fine. Just need a bigger cheesecloth. Cramming it all into an hour 20 might be a bit difficult, but I'm sure, I'm sure I'll be able to do it. I hope so. I might start again, though. If not, oops. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it's not my day. Are you up against it? Yeah. I made too much potato mix, and the potato mix went on the floor. So then I had to start again. And then I cut my finger. So what I'm doing today is kartacha, a Polish potato dumpling. My mom's from Poland. You have the potato batter and then a meatball inside. And I'm doing sorofka, which is a cabbage and carrot salad, and then a vegan sour cream. It's vegan because I can't have dairy. All right. What do you do, if you don't mind me asking? I'm a bartender. I chose not to go to uni because I decided to move to the Caribbean um, to become a scuba diver. So you could become a chef. You could own a restaurant. Exactly. Scuba diving and chef. Brilliant. Olivia's making for us something I've never had before, which she calls kaltacha. What should happen here is the potato casing around the outside should become sealed. Then as the meat cooks, all the juice of the meat will stay inside that little dumpling. So when you open it up, it should almost have like a meaty soup in the centre of it. But right now, Olivia's having what I would call a shocker. Why did I choose this out of everything? You have to remake the potato dough, and that's put everything behind, and those dumplings have only just gone into the water. I hope they're cooked. Um... Time's up. Everybody stop. Oh, my God. Bartender Olivia's ingredient was potato. She's made katacha, Polish potato dumplings stuffed with pork mince with sorovka, a carrot and cabbage salad, vegan sour cream, and a crispy onion and bacon topping. It's a big dish, isn't it? I mean, you know, it's hearty. Yeah. It's my first ever kaltacha, and I quite like them. The inside, the rich pork, the juice is coming out of the pork, so you've almost got like a soup mixture in there, and your salad underneath is really, really tasty. Listen, it's got no finesse whatsoever. I would eat that, but I would like the pork inside there cooks a little bit more. Yeah. If I had to cook again, I think it would give me an opportunity to kind of redeem myself from the, the mess that was earlier. You do anything you like with a piece of fish. It could be a fillet. You could roll it up and poach it. The fact is, it's a versatile thing. But they're going to have to build a dish in their mind really quickly. And if they don't, it could all go wrong. You know, you're going to cook it with? We'll make it up. <laughs> Olivia, you actually filled your fish fairly well. Um, my boyfriend actually taught me how to fillet a fish when we used to fillet a uh, lionfish together to the Caribbean. So what's the plan? Hand searing the fish, and then we're doing a pea and asparagus puree, pickled radish, and boiled baby potatoes. You're on time? Yeah. Are you sure? For now. We have got a pea and asparagus puree with dill going through it. We've got some capers on the plate, some pickles radishes, some trout, and a little tiny potato. Great. Well, if that works, fantastic. More like finesse that. than last time. Well, yeah, well, that wouldn't be hard, would it? <laughs> You've got just three minutes. Get whatever it is on a plate, please. <laughs> Sydney, come on. Yes, sir. OK, time's up. That'll do me. Uh, my legs are shaking, now. <laughs> I feel happy it's over. <laughs> To secure one of the last two aprons, Olivia has made pan-fried trout fillet with a pea, asparagus and dill puree, pickled radish, steamed asparagus, boiled baby potatoes and capers. You cooked the fish very, very well indeed. 
your potatoes are cooked well. Uh, you pickled radishes, which is demonstrating some skill. You've got a nice puree around the outside. You, you've shown us a completely different side to you that you did in the first round. I've actually got no complaints about it at all. You've done good presentation, nice flavours. I mean, it's kind of what we wanted, Olivia. I feel like I've experienced every emotion today. It makes me feel a lot better in myself that I can actually cook.